Bees are one of the most important species. In fact, the little flying insects are a keystone species, one that other species in an ecosystem largely depend on for their survival. There are more than 20,000 different bee species around the world. In addition to being crucial for healthy ecosystems, bees play a vital role in food production. They pollinate a number of flowering plants, allowing them to produce fruits and seeds. These tiny creatures are critical for our survival and our fragile environment. But bee populations are declining. Habitat destruction, deforestation, climate change, insecticides, and diseases are all greatly impacting bee populations. Do you want to save the bees? There are a number of things you can do to help dwindling bee populations thrive. Here are seven things you can do to help protect bees. Number one, don't use pesticides on your lawn. Pesticides, including insecticides and fungicides, contain chemicals that are incredibly harmful to bees and other pollinators. Some of the toxic chemicals found in pesticides have been suspected as links to colony collapse disorder, or CCD. This phenomenon occurs when honeybees abandon their hives and die off at high rates. First and foremost, the collapse of bee colonies worldwide corresponds to the widespread use of neonicotinoids as pesticides. Bees who come into contact with these pesticides begin to exhibit symptoms similar to Alzheimer's. Colony collapse disorder is, is defined by a, a rapid loss of worker bees within the colony, apparently not related to the health of the queen because there's brood, there's food available to raise those brood. By the hour, it looks as if a bunch of bees just flew off and forgot how to come home. The European Union recently banned several neonic-based pesticides linked to colony collapse disorder in an effort to thwart the spread of CCD. Instead of using toxic pesticides to keep unwelcome critters out of your yard, you can use bee-friendly natural alternatives. Did you know there are plants that are natural pest repellents? Chrysanthemums can help repel a number of unwanted pests like spider mites, ticks, and cabbage worms. Lavender is known to ward off mosquitoes, moths, flies, and fleas. Plus, bees love lavender in bloom. Lemongrass, another favorite of bees due to its sweet lemony fragrance, can also help to repel pesky pests like flies and mosquitoes. You can grow catnip in your garden to keep ants, beetles, aphids, and cockroaches at bay. Just keep in mind it may attract your neighborhood cats. If you are insistent on using a pesticide, then opt for ones that are less toxic and rapidly degradable, such as Wonderside Outdoor Pest Control, a plant-based pest repellent that's safe for beneficial bugs like bees and butterflies. Unlike other pesticides, they take only a few hours to degrade, instead of days or weeks. You can also restrict your pesticide usage to evening hours. Honeybees typically forage throughout the day, so by using only rapidly degradable, non-toxic pesticides at night, you can help minimize bee mortality rates. Number 2. Avoid meat and dairy products. Climate change isn't just impacting humans, it's also affecting the bees. In addition to melting polar ice caps, global temperature increases are causing shifts in the seasons. Climate change is affecting pollination by disrupting the synchronized timing of flower blooming and the timing at which bees pollinate. Studies have linked the production of meat and dairy to climate change, as well as some of the planet's other pressing environmental problems like pollution and habitat destruction, all of which can impact bee populations. A 2019 report prepared by more than 100 scientists for the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change revealed high levels of meat and dairy consumption is fueling global warming. We are currently working on an IPCC special report on climate change in land, which will include the idea of food systems as a whole, including the question of dietary changes and the demand side. While the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency indicates animal agriculture is responsible for almost 10% of all greenhouse gas emissions, some experts believe this figure is significantly low. Studies by the U.N. have shown animal agriculture contributes to nearly a quarter or more of the world's total greenhouse gas emissions. One of the single biggest ways you can reduce your impact on the environment and on bees is by avoiding meat and dairy products. Instead, opt for plant-based foods. Number 3. Support Bee Sanctuaries In an effort to save the bees, actor Morgan Freeman converted his 124-acre Mississippi ranch into a bee sanctuary. During a 2014 Tonight Show interview with Jimmy Fallon, Freeman discussed his newfound hobby as a beekeeper. And what I've discovered is that I don't have to put on a bee suit or anything to, to feed them. He also talked about the need to protect wild bees. He said, 
there is a concerted effort for bringing bees back onto the planet. We do not realize that they are the foundation, I think, of the growth of the planet, the vegetation. For those who want to help bees but don't have land to start their own sanctuary, you can always donate to or volunteer at one. There are a number of bee sanctuaries around the country that promote bee conservation. The Honey Bee Conservancy is one such organization that has helped more than 10 million bees since its inception in 2009. It's remarkable that when bees are added to gardens and to farms, not only does the quality of fruits and vegetables increase, but the yield increases by up to 71%. The Honey Bee Conservancy creates sanctuaries by placing honey and solitary bees in community gardens, urban farms, and parkland areas across the U.S. and Canada. So with hope and a vision, I founded the Honey Bee Conservancy. Our sponsor a hive program places free hives and bees in community gardens and urban farms that provide healthy food to local residents. Other organizations that are working to save bee populations include the Planet Bee Foundation, which works with younger generations by teaching them about the environmental impact on honeybees. Planet Bee Foundation is on a mission to educate, empower, and unite people from all walks of life through the wonder of bees and their plight to protect and preserve our precious planet and food supply for generations to come. Non-governmental environmental organization Greenpeace's Save the Bees campaign also works to protect bees and has advocated for the prohibition of bee-killing pesticides. Number 4. Keep Your Garden Wild Although you may not have hundreds of acres to build a bee sanctuary, you can still create a safe mini bee oasis in your own yard. Bees rely on flowers, trees, and shrubs for their only source of food, pollen and nectar. Plant a wide variety of flowers and herbs in your garden or yard to attract bees. In the spring, you can plant calendula and wild lilac flowers. During the summer months, try echinacea and snapdragons. And in the fall, fill your garden with bee favorites like goldenrod, sedum, and asters. Planting big patches of native plants enables bees to pollinate more efficiently. Studies also show mowing your lawn less frequently also helps to improve bee habitats. By mowing your yard infrequently, lawn flowers like clover and dandelions have a chance to grow, providing more nourishment for the flying foragers. Number 5. Install bee baths in your yard. Just like humans, bees need water in order to survive. By erecting a simple water feeder or bath in your yard, you can ensure bees have a safe place to settle down and get hydrated when they're feeling thirsty. You can purchase a bee bath or make a DIY version yourself at home. Simply fill a shallow container, dish, or bowl with rocks or pebbles and fill it up with water. Then place a container in the shade near pollen-rich plants so that bees have an adequate source of fresh water while they're busy at work pollinating. Number 6. Build Bee Hotels we recommend selecting nesting tubes or blocks that can be opened. Harvesting, cleaning, and storing your cocoons at the end of the season is the best way to ensure bee health and populations for the next year. Even bees need a vacation. In addition to creating a mini bee sanctuary or installing bird baths in your yard, you can also erect a bee hotel. Similar to birdhouses, the hotels provide bees a safe habitat to nest in. We recommend hanging your nest under the eaves of your house. If this is not an option, choose a house design that provides adequate shelter from the elements on its own. It's recommended that you place your bee barn five to several feet off the ground. And you want to face it where it's facing the sun rise. That's east right there. According to the Honey Bee Conservancy, approximately 70% of all bee species nest underground. The remaining 30% nest in holes or cavities in wood or hollow broken stems. Wild hole nesting bees also nest in dead trees, overgrown grass, or fallen logs. You can easily build a suitable nesting site for bees, or you can purchase a pre-built one. Just be sure when you install it that it's secured to a flat surface and protected against strong winds. Number 7. Transform your roof into a bee stop. Last year, the Dutch city of Utrecht gave more than 30 of the city's bus stops a bee-friendly makeover. The city built green roofs atop the bus stops in order to give bees and other pollinators a safe place to forage. The bee stops feature grass and sedum, plants with small yellow flowers, which municipal workers help to maintain to encourage pollination. In addition to supporting biodiversity, the bee stops help to store rainwater, capture fine particles of air pollution, and provide cooling during the summer months. Following the success of the bee stops, the city is set to transform every roof in the city district. Roofs will either feature plants and moss, similar to the bee stops, or solar panels. The municipality of Utrecht 
encourages the construction of green roofs. Utrecht citizens can apply for subsidies to cover their roofs with greenery. You can help make your home more bee-friendly by installing a bee stop of your own. Transform your own roof to provide the little insects a safe space to forage. So, are you ready to save the bees? Which of these bee-friendly tips will you try? Let us know in the comments below. As always, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. New videos every Tuesday and Friday.